Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Marks from agfriend.com and welcome to Beef Genomics from Basics to Launch, a mini course, part of the AgBio Talent Program. This is me right here. Before we get started with the course, let me give you a little background about myself. I'm an animal geneticist by training. I was very fortunate to have witnessed the development and birth of genomics technology in animal breeding. I was part of the team that built the first bovine chip, the bovine 50K, seen here, and also part of the team that decoded the bovine genome, represented by this picture here on the cover of Science. That's where we published our findings. The title that you see at the top is that of my PhD thesis. That was the work that resulted in identification of important DNA markers. Many of those markers were and are used today in predicting genetic merit in beef and dairy cattle. After that, I went on to work for a Canadian seed stock company to implement the use of DNA technology in their breeding program. And after having lived in Canada for a really long time, I was ready for another challenge. I moved to the United States to help to develop the market for the use of genomics technology. In that role, I interacted with organizations, breeding companies, and associations that were interested in applying the technology in their operations. You can see some of their logos here. I spent a lot of my time on the road talking to producers, which provided me with actual data to understand the real way and opportunities for technology implementation. I saw many wins and the great results that the technology was and is providing. If I'm not in the boardroom or the classroom, this is how I'd be recognizing me. So after many years of back and forth, I decided that I was ready to tackle another challenge. I went on to learn everything I needed to learn about starting my own company. That's how AgriFront was born, a company with a mission to connect people, expertise, and technology to put the agriculture industry at the forefront. My focus now is on developing the current and the future ag bio talent, the future leaders that will be taking care of this and other industries within the global agriculture community. Agriculture is global, and we need people from all backgrounds to solve many challenges ahead. We need engineers, biologists, animal scientists, geneticists, physicists, computer scientists, and more. In the earlier section, we talked about simple versus complex traits and how the expression of phenotypes for complex traits had both genetic and environmental influences. In this section, we'll talk about the part of the phenotypic expression that is solely due to the genetic factors. The part of the phenotypic expression that is caused by genetics can be further split into non-additive genetic effects and additive genetic effects. Non-additive genetic effects are the kind that are caused by gene combinations, also known as dominance effects, and gene interactions, described as epistasis. They're the kind that the parent cannot pass on to the offspring. The combination and interactions will be unique to that animal. Additive genetic effects are the kind that can be transmitted from generation to generation. These are the kind of effects or variation that we can estimate and make predictions about when it comes to future generations. The type of effect that we focus on in our calculations is the additive genetic effects. It's not that we're not interested in the non-additive genetic effects. It's just that today we don't have enough data to estimate them precisely. A few groups have tried to estimate the non-additive genetic effects for some crosses with hundreds of thousands of markers and over 10,000 animals in that database. And those effects have not increased the accuracy of the phenotypic predictions. So we stick to what we can estimate precisely, and that is the additive genetic effects. Do you know the name that beef breeders give to the additive genetic effects? Beef breeders call this breeding values. You have heard of them as estimated breeding values or EBVs. Breeding values are the genetic merit of the animal. Now, you may ask, what if I'm interested in the genetic merit of the animal as a parent? In that case, you're looking for expected progeny differences, or EPDs. EPDs are exactly half of the estimated breeding values. Here's how we can write that relationship. EPD of a sire is equal to half of the EBV of that sire. EPD of the dam is equal to half of the EBV of that dam. Since an animal can only pass half of its breeding value to its progeny, 
the total breeding value of the progeny would be the combination of the EPD of each of its parents. Here's how we can write that relationship. EBV of a progeny is equal to half of the EBV of the sire, also known as the EPD of the sire, plus half of the EBV of the dam, also known as the EPD for that dam. Here's an example. A bull's EBV of plus 120 pounds for weaning weight would mean that he has an EPD for weaning weight of plus 60 pounds. We have simply divided the EBV by 2 to get the EPD. Let's try a full example. If that bull were mated to a cow whose EPD for weaning weight is plus 50 pounds, a calf resulting from that cross would have what number for EBV and EPD for weaning weight? Please stop the video to work out the calculations. The answer will be revealed in a few slides. If you have answered EBV of the calf for weaning weight as plus 110 pounds and the EPD for the calf for weaning weight as plus 55 pounds, you are correct. By this time, you may be wondering about the factors that enable the calculation of breeding values and consequently of EPDs. This mini course is part of the signature course, Beef Front, Breeding for Profit, part of the AgBow Talent Program. It was designed for those who are at the heart of feeding the world, whether you're a seed stock or commercial producer that wants to learn about DNA technologies, or you're a veterinarian that has a practice with clients asking about breeding programs or genomics options, whether you're an animal scientist that wants to stay at the forefront of your industry, knowing what new technologies are out there, or you're brand new to this industry. No matter who you are, this course is for you.